What's up, Juventini? We've got a wild one today in the news, all right? Xerxy, there is a twist there that has all of us believing maybe, just maybe, there's a chance this could go down. We'll look at the details there. A plot twist with Fajoli, one that none of us saw coming. And could something go down and shock all of us? We'll look at what's being said around Nicolo Fajoli. You've got two new names on the target list for Juventus. The latest on Vlaovic with his contract scenario looming around Juventus. And the first move that's going to get done in January called out by Nico Skira. And we've got some Juve players in line for some hardware. We're going to look at it all together right now. I'm Berto. This is the AJC, your channel dedicated to Juventus. It's November 21st. Let's rock with the news. And we kick things off with the Xerxes rumors. All right. So La Stampa coming out and reporting that Xerxes wants out. Now we finally hear that there is a push from the player and his entourage to make a move out of Manchester United. And apparently his agents, of course, trying to link him up with Mota again are the rumors. And he has apparently been offered up to Juventus. Can something actually happen? We still would need this thing to be a loan. It would have to start off with a loan and we have absolutely zero idea if Manchester United will be down for that and they'll probably want something done outright no matter what the players will so I still have significant doubts about this being able to get done but if if it could it would actually be great for Juventus but let's wait and see. We got two new names on the target list for Juve as well. The first one is, of course, trying to take advantage of Lyon's financial situation. And that is Talia Fico. That's a new name on the target list, but an old one. Kind of like Schick yesterday because Talia Fico has been linked to Juventus prior now he's linked again and apparently could be available for two to three million euros so keep eyes on that scenario the other name is ben chilwell also apparently one to watch as a potential candidate to come in and help in january ben chilwell does nothing for me. And if you look at his injury history, we've got enough guys in J Medical. He's been brutal for injuries the past two seasons. I say absolutely not. Talia Fico going through a slight injury this season, missing four games, etc. But overall, throughout his career, he hasn't missed much. And he's a solid, solid addition to help boost the back line. Again, keep in mind, we don't necessarily need 1A options. We need guys that can provide what Cabal did and be better than Danilo. So Talia Fico, I'm open to it. Now, we get to the news on Fajoli. Interesting, interesting plot twist here. As we've been hearing his name a lot over the past week about a potential move in January to fund other moves that Juve might have to make. But that was ruled out immediately by Mirko Di Natale. But what none of us expected was to hear what we're hearing today and that is his entourage is looking at market possibilities and opportunities for the player specifically in England does Fajoli want to leave Juventus hey I don't know I don't know what's going to come of this but there's a lot of smoke around this player all of a sudden and it is bizarre I'm going to ask you the question if it came down to making a move and there was a sale opportunity for Fajoli in January, do you take it? Hit me in the comments. I'm going to be real brief with my answer and it's just simply no, definitely not right now. Because we had a year where he was dealing with the gambling saga that we have still no idea. He's hit and miss on the pitch. He shows you very, very high high quality play but then he can follow it up with a couple duds in a row so he's still very much an unknown but the potential is so high based on those high quality games that he gives you that i am a no definitely not right now until we see more of it all right let's get a full season of getting this guy in the mix and seeing what happens that's my answer now we get to arthur nico skira reports 
Artur would be the first piece of business at Juventus in January, moving him. Marseille and Real Betis are the two in the lead, but watch out for England, as right now his agent is looking at all the scenarios as there are possibilities there. Artur does not want to return home to Brazil in January. He wants to stay in European play, but to Nico Skira, he states he's the first piece of business Juve gets done in January. For Vlaovic, contract situation Situation. We've been hearing a lot more and more sources coming out stating the same that we heard over the past few days and that is that he has rejected Juve's offer to drop and lower the salary all right and right now we look at a complete stalemate there are a few weeks remaining apparently before June Tully's deadline and then the future is completely up in the air Juve will probably if they don't have an agreement push for the sale but will they do it in January it's going to be a difficult move I would expect them to push for the sale in the summer and Vlaovic might stick around to see his contract out. We have to wait and see. As far as Juve goes, we've got some guys in line for some potential hardware. The Grand Gala de Calcio Awards set to go down December 2nd. See Juve with a host of players and even a coach up for some hardware. You've got Colt Miners, Bremer, and Di Gregorio in for the top 11 at their respective positions. You've got Motop there for best men's coach and Vlaovic's goal against Sassuolo as best men's goal of the season all right so good luck to all of them on trying to get that hardware that is your news break to today juventini you know the drill like the video subscribe to the channel join our ajc army but let me know what you think about all the news you just heard here today and let's mix it up in the comments i'm back tomorrow as always with another edition till then fino alla fine forza juventus ciao tutti